Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Amaris here and today I'm at the park with Moki. It's her birthday. She is 10 years old this year. Happy birthday Moki. I love you little old lady. But you'll always be my baby. So yeah, I'm at the park right now so you can hear little kids screaming and stuff playing. And I'm with the dinosaur. Yeah. Anyways, so I wanted to make this video because I finally reached my first goal of 150 pounds. I'm actually at 149 right now as of today. I'm so excited. I'm so right, happy. Guys, I finally got to my first goal reaching 150. Well, 149 is a little bit under my goal. That's awesome. Yay. Alrighty, so I'm not a dietitian, nutritionist, anything professional, but I will share with you guys what's been working for me these past several months that lead me to landing my first goal of reaching 150 pounds. Well, I'm actually at 149, so I'm excited. I'm, I've come a pretty long way because I was at my heaviest at 190.2 back on April 24th. That was the day I started my lifestyle change, my fitness journey. So I started with eating, um, actually, yeah, what I've been doing is counting calories, and that's what I do. Um, that works for me, might not work for everyone, but it worked for me um, so far. So I started going to the gym um, and try to burn like a thousand calories and I keep on adding more and more, burning more calories to now these past couple months. I've been trying to keep my calorie count um, under 1600 so I usually eat about like 1500 something calories and I always aim to burn as much as I've eaten. Um, but these days I've been trying to burn 2,000 calories at the gym. It is a lot. Some de serious dedication there. But I love going to the gym. Every time I'm at the gym, I'm doing a workout. Of course it can be tiring during the workout, but after you feel so much better. I feel so much more energetic. I feel happier. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. And what else? Um, so counting calorie, it works for me. I don't always eat very, very healthy. I keep a balanced diet. I'll eat like a salad for lunch and then I'll probably eat, you know, maybe some fried rice or I'll eat chips, I'll eat cake. I try to keep myself sane. I don't want to be like, in, like, you know, get into insanity of like just always eating healthy shit and then I'm going to binge eat junk food all the time. That's not healthy. So I try to find a balance. I think um, balance is key to making this thing work. So find your balance, whatever your balance is. My balance is balancing eating healthy stuff and also some junk food sometimes. That way I fulfill some of my cravings but also still watch what I'm eating and keeping count of my calories. Of course I have cheat days uh, sometimes. I try to limit my cheat day to once a week. If I could avoid it, I try to avoid it because I think now whenever I do have cheat days, sometimes I feel kind of sick and my body is just not used to it. It's used to keeping that math, you know, of counting calories and stuff, my routine. Um, but it's nice to have cheat days sometimes, especially like if it's someone's birthday, you want to eat cake and celebrate. And um, I try to go to the gym every day. And the only time that I do not go to the gym is for special occasions, such as it's like my mom's birthday, I didn't go to the gym. So stuff like that. But I tend to go to the gym every day. Try to fit in some kind of workout every day, but it's good to exercise. It's good to exercise. Um, you know, it's good for your body, your heart, your health. You know, of course, I try to lose weight because I want to look better, feel better, you know, have a banging body. <laughs> But overall, I just want to be healthier and happier. So that is my goal. Therefore, that is the goal of this YouTube channel. Um, my YouTube channel is to document my progress. So I stay on this path to lose weight. So I don't like give in to the old me where the old me would be a roller coaster. I'll like lose weight and then I'll go back down of like, you know, just being in a slump of like not losing weight and being in my unhealthy way. But I'm over that. Old Amy is dead. Just like that Taylor Swift song, Old Taylor Swift is dead. <laughs> oh, who likes that song? I do. Um, so, anyways, um, to be healthier and happier is very important. Um, I do not like how I was several months ago. So, I was not healthy, was not happy with my life. And 
you know, life is really short. You do have this one life. Unless, depends on your worldview. Currently, I'm studying Christian worldview at school. So learn about worldviews. But depending on your worldview, usually, you know, try and enjoy this one life that you have currently. Take care of your body. Um, eat healthy for the most part. Exercise. Go for a walk at the park. Do something simple, you know. Um, Usually at my gym, I like to do a lot of stairmaster treadmill. I'll do some of the weightlifting and squats and those little stuff. Sometimes I should do more of that though. Um, mostly cardio, um, but do stuff that will make your you know workout interesting or like more entertaining. What I do, I love listening to music, love listening to EDM, anything that makes my heart pump in. Um, love watching those cheesy dating shows like Bachelor in Paradise, The Bachelor, Bachelorette. I know it's all pretty scripted, but hey, guilty pleasure, what? <laughs> so anyways, find your balance and live life happy and healthily. And just, you know, be happy and healthy. Take care of your body because you only have one body. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great day. But sometimes if you want that ice cream, go get that ice cream. No shame. I've had ice cream for breakfast sometimes too. <laughs> uh, and then those like national days. Sometimes it'd be like national ice cream day or national cheesecake day was recently. And I can't believe one freaking slice of cheesecake is equivalent to my whole day's worth of calories. Holy crap. I think everything in moderation is key. Balance is definitely key. Um, without balance, then your life is going to be way too, you know, way too healthy. And then you're going to bomb and like, you know, binge eat all that junk food and so not good for you. Find your balance. Eat healthy and then also have your junk food, have your cheat day, cheat meals, whenever you want. But just find your balance.